Hey everybody, Joel Hans here, and today I'm here with my good friend, Ms. Marina Huang. So, I wanted breakfast, I might have slept in a little bit, but luckily this place got my back. So we're gonna go eat the whole menu, at least times one. I think I might go for a couple things. They got fried chicken, they have sandwiches with beef, with short ribs, with salmon, smoked salmon, they got everything, not to mention good old traditional egg sandwiches. So we're gonna have some fun, have the epic menu challenge. Let's eat some food. Yay! Yay! All right, so here is this absolutely epic spread of food. So not only do we have, again, every sandwich on the menu, but a couple of their delicious looking sides. I mean, we're just gonna eat this, have some fun, looks delicious. I love breakfast, so this is exactly the perfect place to be. All right, so uh, let's start. Marina. I put my hair up first. Yeah, me too. Put my hair up. Okay. Perfect. All right, where do you wanna start? I really want you to try the pork belly bun. Because he kept complaining he does not like pork belly. I'm like, it's because you haven't had good pork belly. So we're gonna try this one. This is a breakfast sandwich. Um, made after the tradition of my meat. So there's pickled veggies in here as well as a really thick cut of pork belly. I saw them put the sauce on it. It looks amazing. So I'm starting off with this. Well, I know it's gonna be great. It smells delicious. Uh, the pork, pork belly has so much flavor. <laughs> I can't fit it all in my mouth. I tried. It just won't fit in there. It's good though. I really get the pickled vegetables. It's like a brioche bun bread. Nice savoriness of that egg, that pork belly. Through the middle bite with all the juices. That's mm, ah, so good. It's very well accented by the sauce. Mm -hmm. Did you try to one bite one of these sandwiches? Is that why you're laughing? I'm gonna get it though. I'm gonna get one of these in one bite. I promise you that. Really? Mm -hmm. Alright. I'm just warming up. That was very delicious though. I really like that bread, that sweetness. It just brings a very pleasant aspect to it. Let's see. Where to choose? There's so many good options. I'm gonna try the uh, smash avocado. So we have like avocado, egg salad, some bean sprouts on there. Looks delicious. Really healthy. Yeah, this is like this is like one of their colder, like cold sandwiches. I'm making a mess, Dude, but it's egg, good. The egg salad is so creamy. Mm. <laughs> Joel's a messy eater. I feel like I'm a kid playing in the dirt right now. I'm making a mess. This is excellent. Very fresh. I promise I'm not trying to get food all over myself. It just happens naturally. I feel like if you come in to get this one, you'll feel good for the rest of the day because it's like really light. It's not heavy and light. it's full of really good nutrients with all the avocados and the veggies and the egg. Definitely a lot lighter. I don't get the same sweetness from that brioche and it complements the fresh savoriness of the salad and avocado part of it. I really like that. Would recommend. Got so many good options. You know what? I gotta do the fried chicken. I was actually about to tell you. This is one of their brunch sandwiches. So we got some buttermilk fried chicken, y'all. A delicious looking egg on it. It's nice and warm. I see some pickles. So we got the true savory aspects and flavors of that south. This chicken is huge. This is good. Might have to, might have to get another one of these things. So that chicken with the egg and the pickles is such a unique combination. Again, you have that very savory aspect, that egg, that richness, complemented by a lightly seasoned fried chicken, which is available in a honey hot or spicy version. Might have to get one of those. Compare it with this one in the pickles. 
I think every sandwich so far, like every component within the sandwich just complements each other so well. Like you get a little bit of every kind of flavor in here. I agree. Awesome. We're already three sandwiches down. But, uh, we are killing these. Let's try the one of the vegan sandwiches. What is it called? Huevos Ventero. Huevos Ventero. So in Canada, we don't have much of a Mexican influence, so I'm not all up with my Spanish pronunciation, so thank you, Reina. But it looks delicious. Yep. Huevo Ventura. Rancho. Mmm. Mm. You like Mexican food, so mm -hmm. the flavors on this is really good. Mm. That's perfect. I'm getting some of that human, some of those kind of very traditional Mexican flavors. Very fresh. It's like another like light sandwich. Like it feels light in the mouth, yet it's a warm one. Warm. Like a warm one, so it feels hearty. What next? Is that the patty melt? Patty melt it is. Definitely. So we got a patty melt, melt, pretty, uh, I'd say, traditional breakfast sandwich. Again, we have these lovely looking buns, we have the egg, we have the sausage. Patty. Oh yeah, it just... It, it, it's a very strong cured flavor. Really nicely spiced sausage. Very moist. Bit of a pepper in there, like a spicy pepper. I want to say there's like a bit of like a cilantro in the sausage. So I'm very fresh. Now, usually I don't even like egg yolk, but the egg yolk mixed in with this bread is really good. So this is a this is like a burger one, which looks really delicious. Yeah, I think that's because we were a little confused earlier. This has got some fried onions on it. We got an egg, beef burger. I very much like cows. I think they're very tasty animals, so enjoy. Oh, Got this dripping egg yolk going on. Yolk <laughs> corn. Look at that. The burger's also cooked perfectly. It's not overdone. Caramelized onions, really bringing that hearty beef fl like flavor, that burger flavor. If you've never had an egg on a on a burger, you need to. So if you're an egg on burger fan, comment below. I'm team egg on burger. Are you team egg on burger? Good. <laughs> We're on the same side, finally, right? I think the half done eggs is the only time I like the dripping eggs. Usually because I don't like runny yolk, but runny yolk on a burger just makes the burger so much juicier. I think like the sunny side up, sunny side up egg or the, you know, again, the loose yolk. It brings out such a different dynamic, mm -hmm. different flavor. It really has that mouth feel. It's almost like, you know, umami. I think I'll hop onto this salmon. Oh yeah. The Norwegian. So we got smoked salmon, we got cucumbers, onions. This is very common. Smoked salmon. I'm a smoked salmon for breakfast and any time of the day person, so I find this very soothing. And we have that egg, that runny yolk. Joe says he's part Norwegian. My ancestry comes from that northern region. Excuse me. Mm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, this is good. Okay. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, boy. That is delicious. Well, it's got a very thick spread on there. Very creamy. And it accents 
the smoked salmon perfectly because it kind of di dials down, cuts down that smoke. Cucumbers add that fresh aspect. Yeah. yeah, like I said, this is just one of their sandwiches that's like super well rounded. Like there's just so much components that complement each other so well. What's your favorite one so far? It might be that salmon. It was either the delicious one with the salmon, or I think the one I was most surprised by was that vegan one. I very much enjoyed the flavors on it. So it's always nice when you have something and it is a unique variant of one of your favorite dishes, and it surprises you, it pleasantly surprises you. Because that's exactly what happened. I'm gonna go to the bacon and egg, because that's ultra traditional, ultra classic, and I know it is going to be delicious. So it's a scrambled egg on it. Obviously, delicious looking bacon. There's also a big slice of cheese, too. And cheese. Excuse me. My favorite so far, I already know when I tasted it, I was like, this is one of my favorite, is the bad thing. It's because I look for Philly so much. Really? Interesting. <laughs> Bacon. Bacon. Oh, this is just classic. Bacon, egg, and cheese. Mm. Bring me all your bacon and eggs. I think you misheard me. I think you thought I said, bring me a lot of bacon eggs. I said, bring me all your bacon eggs. If you know that quote, you're a good person. Just give me all the bacon and eggs you have. Wait, wait, I worry what you just heard was, give me a lot of bacon and eggs. What I said was, give me all the bacon and eggs you have. Do you know where that came from? Again. Shout out Ron Swanson. <laughs> so this is exactly what you'd expect. Bacon, egg, cheese, you got mayonnaise on there. The brioche adds a little bit of a different dynamic, but it's simplicity at its best. I think what really makes this stand out from other typical bread, egg, and cheese sandwiches though is their spread is really good. Whatever sauce they hand make over here, it's really awesome. The spread. Kind of looks like an In-N-Out sauce but it complements the bread really well. Hey, you mentioned you like the crispy bacon. Is this bacon crispy enough for you? Like that's a good, that's a good, good consistency. Some people like their bacon like raw and stringy. I'm not that kind of person. Perfect. How do you like your bacon? As like pork belly, she says. I do prefer pork belly a lot more than bacon, but if I got half bacon bacon, I do like it crispy. Yeah. All right, here we got a Fremont, which looks delicious. What is in here? Shout out Las Vegas. So in here, I definitely see some awesome looking again. We got the scrambled eggs. We have some more kind of grilled and fried onions. And we have a crispy addition. Oh, and a fried mozzarella. Oh, this is fried. I was wondering what this was. So it's fried mozzarella. Fried mozzarella. The how, did they do, how did they do this? I didn't capture it. Do they like batter the cheese and they just fry it right away? That's so cool. Pretty much. So it's like a heavy cheese and egg sandwich. Tastes like Fremont Street. Ha! <laughs> In all the best ways. I can just imagine Joel going to Fremont Street and licking the ground just to taste it. <laughs> you don't gotta taste the ground to taste Fremont Street. You can taste it in the air. It's like, it's very, it's a nice like rich, this is, I call this like a hangover sandwich. Shout out that movie. So yeah, this is like the perfect hangover sandwich. It's just simple eggs, you got that lovely, lovely cheese in there. Yeah, it's like a taste of Fremont Street. I love it. Next Sunday, next Saturday, or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm not judging. You know where to come after that night on Fremont Street. <laughs> That's good. Actually, I, I'm very much surprised with this. You get almost like a, 
some of the Italian herbs and spices aspect in that cheese because it's brunch. I love the good old San Pellegrino, even though I already started my day with a Diet Coke. Switch to some lovely water aspects. Again, something you also want after a night out visiting Fremont Street. Are you versed in sparkling waters? Kind of, why? Kind of. So I love San Pellegrino. The San Pellegrino has the finest bubbles, the finest microcarbonation that helps come because it's come from that spring all the way in Italy. Back in my day. If I was ever going to come to somebody on the day of their daughter's wedding, I would definitely ask for a limited supply of San Pellegrino. I like it a lot. Do you know that reference? Educate me. Where is it from? It's from The Godfather. Oh. I never watched that movie. It's a good movie. It's a crazy movie. Here we have the lovely meat potatoes. Oh, there's another very colorful which is very colorful. Not only do we have a lovely short rib on here, of course we have the eggs, we see some arugula. We have a basically waffle fry. Excuse me, it's meat and potatoes in a modern rendition. Ooh. Waffle potato. Meat potato. But it's not a basic meat potato. Again, got that arugula, got that fresh, dare I say. Flavors coming in. Almost that floral taste from the arugula. I like the return of my pickled veggies. I love these pickled red onions. You have the very richness and deep beef flavor of that short rib. Very savory. Yeah, this one is incredibly savory. But this sandwich, woo, I like it. It is, it's, it's like, I would call this the perfect late afternoon. It's like you're coming here at like 2.30, 3 o'clock-ish, that area, and you're grabbing one of these, and you're taking it home. And you're gonna indulge and then you're gonna take it and enjoy a nap and a movie. This is what you need before you go to bed. Yeah, this is very heavy. I like it. But then again, this is me saying after saying that after having nice sandwiches. I just I need this again after the gym, not before the gym. Yeah. Whereas some of like the lovely avocado smash, you eat that before the gym. You know, I think the avocado smash is actually my second favorite. That one, the flavors on that one are really good. And I love how white it is. I like it when the food is flat. I don't like feeling really sluggish and stuff after eating. What was your favorite? Still the bad meat. I still think maybe I smoked salmon. It was really good. Really? Yeah. It really is Norwegian. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Taurus's favorite part, dessert. We actually joked that this place wouldn't have dessert, but they actually have croissant bonnets over here. A croissant bonnet. Doused in powdered sugar. Hell right. Damn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That is the best item with the word croissant in I've ever had in my life. I was actually chilled the other day. He told me he hates croissants. So I'm actually really interested to see how that tastes like. Hate is a strong word. Well. But a croissant is not my preferred pastry of any variant. But this is phenomenal. And do you know why? Because it tastes like a donut. Woohoo! It's like a Corona. That's exactly what it's like. It's like deep fried, lovely powdered sugar coated glazed croissant thingy thing. Damn. Mm -mm -mm. I love that. That's great. This I might have to get a few more of. I'm gonna just imagine Joel like, give me fucking a, a hundred of those two though. I mean, it might not have been the craziest thing you've ever done. That's really good. Oh, that was delicious. I very much enjoyed it. 
Um, I think I'm gonna get some more. You're gonna get some more after the video ends. Don't worry, Joel's just gonna like eat another casual 20 sandwiches, as he does. Well, I tell you, it was really good. Yeah, it was good. It so, was amazing. All right, if you're gonna come here and order two items, what do you order? The bad meat and the avocado. Cool. I'm ordering the Norwegian lovely sandwich and six orders okay, well, of those croissants. Well, I mean, not desserts aside, what's your second favorite sandwich? You know, here. Excuse me, can I get one of everything? One more, please? Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right, so there you go, everybody. That's my order. So that, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Be sure to check out Miss Reina's channel. And if you're not familiar, check out my channel. I hope you know it if you're on. Yes, but guys, check out Don't forget to no, like, wait, wait, subscribe. Wait. Of course, check out Egg Sammy. What were you gonna say? I have the funniest thing because I've been doing so much videos with you. Yesterday I was looking at my YouTube playlist, like the top thing. I just say check out Joe, check out Joe, check out Joe. We description it like for the last 10 videos. So don't worry, everybody on my channel knows to check out Joel. Well, thank you, and vice versa. So Egg Sam, everybody, Las Vegas' is newest, hottest, and coolest breakfast spot. Till next time. Bye bye. You know what to do.